Are we ready? All right. Well, welcome to the Pause Against Bully program. Now, I want to introduce you to some very special people. And some of these people came from very far away. That lady down there that's in the red, that is Nan Martin. She didn't bring her dog so she could help, but they're from Fort Worth, all the way to Fort Worth. The next person, that's Lynn Brown and his dog Tara. The next person, that is Jean Ann Jones and her dog Presley. The next lady is Sharon Robbie and her dog's name is Frank. My name is Sandy. This is Yeti. This lady right here is Andy German and this big fuzzy dog, that's Hoss. And the lady on the end, that's Jimmy McAdams with her dog Sophie. All right. Today we're going to be talking about pause against bullying. Now it's not pause against bullies. Bullies are people who need to learn a better way, a better way to deal with other people. They need to learn to respect other people. So what do we do? We're going to teach you how to be respectful of one another, teach you what bullying is and how to avoid it so that you can be a good example for everybody in your school, okay? All right, first I want you to tell me, what is bullying? Hands. Yes, sir. Uh, kids that play with kids. Kids that punch people. Oh my goodness, yes, sir. Mean to others. Okay, I want to hear from a girl. They underestimate people. That is an incredible answer, actually. Okay, another girl. Yes? Um, people who hurt people. You hurt people. Okay. Well, if we, if we say that bullying, if it hurts people, what we need to learn is that when you, when you bully someone, you're doing it intentionally. So what we want to do is find out some more information about what a bully should look like then. So tell me uh, some ways that you can bully people. What are some things that we can do that, that would be a good way to bully somebody? Yes. Pick on them. Does that mean just one time? No. It usually means that they're picking on somebody consistently. Okay, yes. What does it mean? Mm -hmm. that you can hit them, kick them, physical. What about with your mouth? Oh, yeah. What does it mean when, you know one of our worst weapons, the most powerful weapons, is our mouths. It's what we say to people can hurt a lot more sometimes than being punched or kicked. So if we say that bullies are, would you say a bully is big? Oh, okay. Tell me, tell me, now the, the ones of you that already have seen this don't answer, but the ones of you who have not seen it, I want to hear from you. Give me a description of a bully. I want your hands. Yes. No, that's bullying. I'm saying what do they look like? What, what are their characteristics? Yes. They can. They can. Yes. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Anybody? Okay. Taller than you. Taller than you? All right. Well, that's a possibility. Yes. <coughs> Big and mean. What do they look like, though? Yes. Stronger. Stronger. Do they have big muscles? <laughs> yes, ma'am. They, they look like you, but they don't act like you. They look like you, but they don't act like you. That's a perfect answer. Okay, I'm going to make a little comparison here. Uh, Where's Yeti? Okay, suppose, let's turn around. Press 
Good job. All right. We're going to say one of these two dogs, Presley or Yeti, one of the two of them is a bully. I want you to point to the bully. <gasps> Yeti, cover the oh, dog. Oh, oh, no, no. Okay. Yeti. All right. Here's what I'm going to ask you. What would happen? Listen. What would happen if Presley goes up to Yeti? and says something mean. Who's the bully then? <laughs> Presley would be the bully then. Does he look like a bully? No. Is he bigger than Yeti? No. Does he have big muscles? No. No, and it's kind of like tugging on Superman's cape, so he probably would not ever do it. But the truth is, a bully looks like me. A bully looks like you. A bully looks like a person who doesn't know how to respect any other people, okay? And so what you do when you see bullying, Ms. Robbie is going to tell you exactly what to do, and I want you to listen and remember this. Okay, what if you were out on the playground or maybe in the lunchroom and you saw somebody that was sitting all by themselves feeling sad, looking sad, and nobody's sitting around them, what's something that you can do? In the front. Go sit next to them. Because somebody is bullying them and they have no friends. So if you make friends with this person, then the other people in your class are gonna go, Oh, they must be a nice person. We'll go sit too. And then everybody will be joining them and sitting. What if you see somebody that's being bullied? What is something you can do in the red? Speak up. Who are you going to speak up to? A teacher. Who else can you speak up to? Uh-huh. Somebody in your lunch room, maybe the lunch guard, uh, back there in the orange. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Um, the principal. The principal. What about your bus driver? <laughs> if you're being bullied on the bus, can you tell your bus driver? Yeah. Yes. What do you do if... If somebody, in, if you see somebody being bullied, do you go in there and help them out and try to try to save them? No. No. You want to go tell somebody because if you go in there and you try to break it up, then you might get in trouble also, and they might pick on you. So the best thing to do is to go and tell somebody. Okay, we're going to let Miss Jimmy, she's going to show you what happens to a person that gets bullied and how it stays with them for a long, long time. Miss Nan's going to hand out a piece of paper to you. I want you all just to hold the paper. Don't do anything with it until everybody has one. What I want to talk to you briefly about, though, are people the only thing that can be bullied? No. What else can be bullied? Yes. An animal. Absolutely. Yes. Is that what you were going to say? Okay. And you're absolutely right. Is it okay to bully an animal? No. No, it's not okay to bully an animal any more than it is to do a person. What happens if... Let's say I let this little guy right here come up and kick Sophie. Oh. Would that be nice? No. I don't think he would come up and kick her. But if I did let him do that, is she going to trust him again? No. No, probably when he, she sees him, she's going to run the other way. Same way if, if she wouldn't trust me either because I let him do it. Is it okay to tease dogs? No. Our cats, like let's say they're behind the fence and they're barking at you. Is it okay to go up and 
throw things at them, stick sticks at them, call them names, bark at them. No, that's teasing. And what's going to happen is those dogs can become really mean and dangerous if you tease them and you mistreat them. You don't want anybody sticking your hands in your plate, so don't stick your hands in the dog's plate and take their food away from them or try to take the bones because you're teasing them. And that's a form of bullying. Just remember, it is never, 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 never okay to hit an animal, a dog, cat, or anything. There are other ways to make the dog mind you or do what you ask. Hitting is not acceptable. Does everyone have a piece of paper now? Yes. Yeah.
And that's some of the things we're going to talk about today, about dogs that sometimes can be so excited that they can be a nuisance. We're also going to talk about dogs that can be kind of dangerous, but we're going to talk about the nuisance dogs first. Because even your own dog can sometimes be a little bit of a nuisance if it's jumping up on you and doing all that type of thing. So we've got to learn a little bit of a technique here to show us how to deal with them. Would you have to up here just a minute, please, and bring your backpack. Your backpack's going to be important in this. Now the first thing we're going to learn today, if you turn around and face your students here, the first thing we're going to learn today is what's called a tree. And you can do this with a dog that runs up to you that you don't know, you're a little bit concerned about, you're a little bit afraid of, uh, and he's really excited. So what you want to do is bring down his excitement level. And to do that, you're not going to pay much attention to him, you're going to turn yourself into a tree. And by turning yourself into a tree, you're going to plant your roots. If you're planted, you're going to put your hands down in front of you, put both your hands right in front of you. And then the important thing is you bow your head down, look at your roots, and count to yourself. Now the reason this is so important is because you're not making eye contact with the dog. If you make eye contact with the dog, then you'll get excited again. If this is your dog, and you don't want him jumping up all over you when you get home, if you'll do the tree and just ignore him until he gets tired and he gets tired of you're not paying attention to him and just lays down and if he does something you want him to do, settles down and just tell him a good dog. If it's somebody else's dog, then just keep ignoring him until he goes away. Now there's another kind of dog, but the one thing you don't want to do, you don't want to turn into a squeaky toy. You know how your dogs like squeaky toys? And even the best dogs love to play and get excited with squeaky toys. If you start running off and waving your hands and screaming, you look like a big running squeaky toy to the dog. They would really, they would really like to chase. So we don't want to do that. So what we're going to do now is, if you have a dog that runs right at you, a dog that uh, we call an uh old -oh factor. That is, you see it running at you. It's got its ears back. Its nose, its mouth is shut, and it's coming right at you. And you say, uh oh, this is not good. This could be really bad. If it knocks you down, then we're going to go into what we call a rock. And the rock is something that you do when you know that this is not a good situation. You go down on your knees, and what you're basically doing, down on your knees, is what you're basically going to do is ball yourself up underneath that backpack. So I want you to, first of all, put your hands behind your neck. Interlock your fingers, that's right. And I don't bend very well, but all the way over, all the way over. Now, there's one other thing where your backpack becomes your friend. If you can get a hold of that backpack and interlock your fingers around that backpack, you have protected all of your inside. You have protected your throat. You protected your face. And very importantly, you and your backpack have protected the back of your neck. Now, someone asked me, what? What if a dog bites you? Well, if you've had to get in this position, you're kind of afraid of that, and you might have already been bitten. But this is the time you have to be brave. This is not the time to be a squeaky toy. Remember, what you can do, your fingers are tight behind your neck. You can pull yourself even tighter into a ball. And remember, don't be a squeaky toy. That dog will be making noise, and what you want to happen is for adults to hear that dog making noise, see what it's doing, and come and help you. That is what we're trying to do. Good job, Rock. This guy was such a good Rock, he's gonna have a picnic on him. All right, now, I wanna ask you a very big question, and it's a hard question. I've got two really hard questions. First off, how many of you, all I want you to do is raise your hand, how many of you have ever been bullied before? Been on the receiving end of being bullied? Quite a bit of you, huh? Okay, put your hands down. Now here's the really, really super, super duper hard one. Think. How many of you have been the bully before? 
You have bullied somebody before. You're going to tell me, how many of you got brothers and sisters and you never bullied your brother or sister? Everybody can be a bully sometime in their life. You are going to probably say something bad about somebody. And you know what? You're going to feel just like what Miss Jimmy talked about. That you put wrinkles on that person's heart. So you're going to have to be the one that apologizes. But if they don't take your apology, you're just going to have to live with it, what you've done. But always remember that even though you might be on the one end of the bully, don't try not to be a bully, okay? Don't be a bully. So we thought we would come up with a way to kind of help you guys out. I'm remembering this. So we have a slogan. So put your ears on. All right, you ready? Now I'm going to say it. Put your hands down and listen. I'm just going to say it the first time, okay? Be a buddy, not a bully. And this is the really important part. Woof, woof, woof. All right, so let's everybody say it together. Be a buddy, not a bully. end of school, they're kind of laid back, they're not really saying much of anything. That wasn't real powerful. So, how about if we do the boys against the girls? Yeah! All right, gentlemen, gentlemen, we will allow the ladies first. So, are you ready, ladies? Yeah! All right. Be Quiet. You in the orange. 
Pardon? Oh, he wants to know what all the other dogs were. Are. Excuse me. Come here, Yeti. Um, and I'll, we'll let you know. Okay, Yeti here. He is probably, because I don't know, he's from the shelter. He is probably German Shepherd, Mastiff, Anatolian, and Pyrenees. Presley is a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. Frank is a black lab. He also is 10 years old. Haas is a Newfoundland, Newfoundland and he's five years old. Tara is a Pyrenees and Australian Shepherd mix and she just turned three years old. Oh. Basically, we are a group of people 
that we have, your dog has to be a pet partner dog. He has to be able to wear that vest. Has to be able to have a badge on and stuff. And we go to schools, and you know what? We even go to hospitals. Do you ever think about a dog going into a hospital? And if you were sick, they would make you feel better, wouldn't they? Now in the summer, we have a reading program with the library. So you guys will have to make sure you come to that. That way you get to read to the dogs. Pretty cool. All right. Uh, one more question, and then we'll start setting up for, so you guys can get back to class and pet the dogs. Be quiet. Um, you right there in black. How tall are they? I have no idea. You know, they're, yeah, they're about this side of, this side. <laughs> Uh, since that was a short question, you in the purple. Yeah, big oh, newfies get big. Oh, they can be up around 180 to 200 pounds. Yeah, how, how big is, is your dog? 140. Okay. So, Miss Mandy is going to help get you guys lined up. We're going to get lined up so that you can pet the dogs. Do not rush the dogs. Make sure you listen to the handler. That's the dog person that's with the dog, okay? All right.